top best luxury hairstylist. In most cases, we discuss extremely expensive sports vehicles, flashy jewelry, exorbitantly priced restaurant dinners, or meaningless features in first-class flight cabins. But, haircuts are also susceptible to this display of who can pay more for nothing particularly remarkable. Premium hairstylists are aware of the nature of the competition, and have responded accordingly by charging exorbitant amounts for haircuts. The one with the larger price tag is typically the one that is more desired by stars and celebrities, and the results are almost always at least stunning, and sometimes they can even be shocking. Yes, we can't help but wonder who chopped Skrillex's hair like that either. But before we get to that, here is a list of the top 10 most expensive haircuts in the world. Number 10 Oribe Canales, $400. Oribe Canales is the hairstylist that celebrities such as Jennifer Lopez, Celine Dion, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Penelope Cruz go to when they want a sophisticated new cut for their hair. Oribe, who was born in Cuba, immigrated to New York City in 1987 to become a movie star, but instead, he opened his hair salon and began working there. Canales extended to Fifth Avenue at Elizabeth Arden, New York in 1990. Later, he founded his own hair care company along with Daniel Kaner and Teff Finger, both of whom were professionals in the beauty sector. Oribe was able to elevate hairstyling to the level of art throughout his career by pouring every bit of his creative energy toward that and his most expensive haircut can set you back a whopping $400. Number 9 Serge Normant $500. Serge Normant is a French hairstylist who works at the John Frieda salons in both New York and Los Angeles. You can find Serge Normant at either location. He lives for the opportunity to flaunt his talents in front of an audience, and as a result, he frequently gives concerts in which he does just that. It is hardly surprising that he charges up to $500 for each haircut given that he is sought after by celebrities such as Sarah Jessica Parker, Julia Roberts, Reese Witherspoon, Julianne Moore, and Ellen Barkin. Number 8 Chris McMillan, who has received $600. Chris McMillan, who is best known for being Jennifer Aniston's hairstylist, has worked in the industry for more than three decades, and his work has been featured on the front covers of Elle, Vogue, InStyle, and a great number of other fashion magazines throughout his long and successful career. He was a columnist for Allure magazine for many years, and in 2002 he launched the Chris McMillan Salon in Beverly Hills. He is known for the laid, back looks and styles that he produces for his clientele. In addition, he was a columnist for Allure magazine. And speaking of that, some of his regular customers include celebrities such as Courtney Cox, Cindy Crawford, Nicole Kidman, Jennifer Garner, and Salma Hayek, to name just a few of them. They are also required to pay a hefty sum of $600 for each haircut. Number 7 Frederick Fekai $750 Frederick Fekai was born and raised in Aix, N, Provence, France. In 1979, he went to New York City, and by the late 1990s, he was already charging an astounding $300 for a short haircut. In addition to that, he developed his brand of shampoo, which retails for $22 a bottle. It was when he began styling the hair of famous actresses like Meryl Streep, Uma Thurman, Sigourney Weaver, Charlize Theron, and Scarlett Johansson that he experienced a turning point in his career. Along with that, though, came an increase in the fees that he charged, bringing the total for a trademark haircut to an astounding $750. Number 6 Sally Hershberger won $800 with her sentence. Sally Hershberger began her professional life as a hairdresser when she was 18 years old. While she was still attending beauty school, she became an apprentice at Hollywood's most popular styling salon, Arthur Jonas, and worked there for three years. Meg Ryan's hairstyle, which she popularized and gave the name Sally Shack, is largely responsible for her rise to fame and the success that ultimately led to her wealth. She started appearing on reality shows like Sheer Genius and The Jimmy Fallon Show, among others. Number 5 Orlando Pita $800 Orlando Pita, star of the Bravo Network show Sheer Genius, has been honored with several accolades for the inventive hairstyles he creates. He was the one to collaborate with Michael Kors, Versace, YSL, Prada, Valentino, Dior, and John Galliano, amongst many others to produce amazing looks for their collections. 
Beyonce, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Gwyneth Paltrow are just a few of the celebrities that have chosen him as their hairstylist. His barbershop, which he named Orlo and which he launched in Manhattan in 2004, charges up to $800 for men's haircuts. Number 4 Ted Gibson, $1,200 the celebrity hairdresser and fashion guru Ted Gibson is the host of the television show What Not to Wear. Although he was born and raised in Texas as part of a military family, he spent most of his formative years in other countries, such as Germany, Hawaii, and Japan, before relocating back to the United States. When he got back to his hometown, he created what he considers to be the finest hair salon in all of New York City. If you want to decide for yourself whether or not it is true, we'll inform you that some of his clients include well-known actresses such as Angelina Jolie, Ashley Green, Renee Zellweger, Jessica Chastain, and in Hathaway you may make your own decision. Ted has worked with publications such as Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, Elle, and Marie Claire, and he has appeared on Oprah, The Insider, Entertainment Tonight, The Today Show, and Good Morning America. He has also made appearances on these shows. Number 3 Rosano Ferretti $1,600 The Italian Rosano Ferretti established more than 20 salons around the world in places such as Madrid, Milan, New York, Paris, London, and Mumbai. Some of these cities are listed above. He participated in a worldwide tour of hairdressing workshops put on by L'Oreal, with whom he had collaborated. Angelina Jolie was one of the celebrities who patronized him and his hair salons, because of his artistic ability, innovation, and forward-thinking approaches to beauty. His charges, which have increased to a maximum of $1,600, are commensurate with the high-quality reputation he has cultivated. Number 2 Stuart Phillips, with a contribution of $16,000. As a result of winning the Best Male Hairdresser in the UK category, at the International Achievers Awards 2014-2015, Stuart Phillips is widely considered to be the industry's best male hairdresser. His hairdressing establishment in Covent Garden is widely regarded as being the greatest in all of London. As a personal hairstylist, celebrities such as Benicio Del Toro, David Hasselhoff, Jamie Oliver, and Jean, Claude Van Damme have chosen him. The standard haircut costs somewhere in the neighborhood of $300, but the most extravagant one he ever gave was to an Italian property developer named Beverly Ladio. It included a champagne lunch, head massage, hair products from L'Oreal made specifically for his hair, a private flight, and limo services, and the total cost was no less than $16,000. Even though we aren't sure if that even qualifies as a haircut, we're going to let him get away with it nonetheless. Number 1 Ken Modes 2 $24,000. A standard haircut at the hairstyle salon that is owned by the British barber Ken Modes 2, and located within the Dorchester Hotel in Mayfair, London, costs $60. Nothing out of the ordinary up to this point, right? But here's the kicker. Ken is the Sultan of Brunei's hairstylist, and the Sultan spends an astonishing $24,000 for Ken to give him a haircut. Additionally, the cost includes a first-class trip on a Singapore airline, as well as sumptuous hotel accommodations for a total of two nights somewhere in the Middle East. This is not all that is included that is going to set you back some cash. Imagine for a moment that Ken Modes 2 has been serving as Sultan's hairstylist for the past 16 years. Who in their right mind would turn down a gig like that? How was the video did you enjoy it? Post your feedback in our comment section below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates.